Hello traders, hope you are all doing well and uh, uh, this is Aditya from BBM and uh, today we are going to uh, discuss uh, the updated uh, template uh, to make uh, the trading rules more easier and uh, we are also going to discuss our uh, power of compounding uh, part 2. Here we are going to uh, discuss a different kind of compounding uh, uh, planning. So we will get back uh, on that. Uh, so first uh, let me uh, explain uh, some of the rules. With the new template, as I, I'm uh, keep on modifying the template to make uh, uh, the rules as easy as possible uh, for the uh, traders uh, to follow it. So there shouldn't be any kind of uh, complex uh, rules to be followed. There is none, but still I'm trying to make sure uh, that the members shouldn't have any kind of uh, issues to decide which trades to take, when to take, which pair to choose and uh, everything. So we will start from the beginning. Uh, again, I am going to revise uh, all the rules one by one. And uh, as in my every video, which uh, I repeat, even in this, I am going to repeat the same thing that it's very important that even before you start trading, never uh, jump on trades. Never just uh, start your system and uh, start taking trades. No, always take some time to uh, uh, do few things to make a few things uh, set up, make few things finalized before you start trading. Uh, such as you have to uh, decide what is your trading goal for that day or today. So you have to understand that uh, if you trade without any plan then it's going to be very difficult for you to be a consistent profitable or a professional trader for a long term it's uh, it's kind of very difficult if you uh, don't follow a proper plan if you don't have a plan it's going to be very difficult uh, the second thing is uh, it's trading with um, uh, I recommend to trade with a, a set uh, plan. Uh, I prefer to follow these compounding plans. Uh, I previously have uh, explained what is the monthly compounding plan and how you can grow your small account to in a big uh, size uh, by following a, a fixed daily percentage of compounding. Now today we are going to talk about a different uh, type of compounding. Uh, so we will get back on that uh, compounding template uh, uh, later in this video. So as you can see on uh, our uh, BBM 2.0 template, you can see it's same as, uh, as the previous one. Just have made few changes like we have added uh, some uh, uh, support and resistance, strong levels and uh, uh, we have uh, added another filter to help you to understand what the current uh, trend is going on. And also I'm going to talk about uh, the preferred expiry uh, we will be trading uh, uh, and everything. So let's uh, hop on the chart. So as you can see, we have this uh, Euro USD uh, at the moment. So first of all, uh, what we have to do is we have to pick our chart. So the very moment we start trading, we have to understand what's going on. So we have to pick up the chart. So I prefer to trade that always go for the strong trend. Look for the charts which are strong trending. Either it's going uptrend or it's going for downtrend, but it should be strong trending. Avoid uh, the medium or weak trends. Okay. So uh, that why I'm telling you that it's uh, that the strong trend whenever you uh, apply a strong trend or whenever you pick a strong trend it will uh, give you an extra edge if you follow the trend since the BVM 2.0 is uh, based on trend so it's a trend friendly so we have to pick a strong trend it's better uh, second is that you have to decide that how many trades uh, you required uh, for uh, that day so that's the second thing which you have to decide that how many wins you need how many net wins you need to achieve your goal that day and your goal shouldn't cross 5% if you are looking for 10% 15% you might uh, that somehow you're making uh, uh, over trading that's the over trade uh, planning so if you keep on chasing 10 15% every day uh, there will be a day when you're going to end up blowing your account so it's very important that uh, go for the very small percentage the higher the account capital you have, your, the smaller your daily percentage uh, turns into. 
which I'm also going to explain uh, uh, later on this video that uh, why it is important that the bigger you, the, your account uh, uh, to choose a smaller percentage of target because that will make things even more easier and keep you consistent profitable. So as you can see, so let's uh, talk about how to pick up uh, the proper chart. As you can see, we have this trend analyzer here and you can see all the solid green are the uptrends all the solid reds they are the downtrend so we prefer to take uh, trades uh, uh, first two pairs or maybe last two pairs these are the pairs i prefer you can also get any of these five pairs five six pairs here they are going strong up now and these uh, six pairs bottom they are going strong down now so uh, as you can see uh, there's a gbp new zealand and gbp gpy and uh, we have cat chf here on uh, strong downtrend so we'll go here and we can see that the cat chf is going strong down now so whenever it's going strong down now so we right the moment whenever it's going strong down we are only looking for the sell trades we are not going to trade against the trend so and as you can see we have uh, added uh, a the trend filter which will help you to understand what is the uh, uh, current trend you need to understand that uh, even a strong downtrend or strong trend there are always uh, pullbacks there are always a major uh, minor reversal so there are always a minor trend change so uh, to understand that what is the uh, current trend this is also uh, we have made here that what the current trend is going on so and we have to make sure that you're taking the trade with the trend with the current trend so make sure that you are taking the trade with the current trend and your entries are always into the levels we have uh, discussed your entries has to be in this support and resistance levels so as you can see on the cat chf it's a going strong downtrend uh, so here uh, um, on the strong downtrend let's say that now uh, you have decided how many uh, trades you're going to need uh, today for your uh, uh, target so if it's uh, five percent or what you have to make sure that how many trades you have to use the tool uh, which you will be getting with the package and that will help you understand that how many trades you're going to need how many wins you're going to need to achieve your daily target so once you know that once you finalize that second that uh, template will also let you know the tool also will let you know uh, according to your initial capital what should be your starting trade amount so uh, on the tool whenever you will in, uh, input your um, uh, capital it will also let you know what should be your first trade amount okay and uh, uh, based on that you have to plan your now you have we have picked uh, the cat chf and we can see that uh, let's say that we have a target of five trades we need five uh, wins and we're going to trade with the trend and as you can see so here let me explain you how it, it is works we have to make sure that uh, when it's going strong down it is when the market is below this red level as you can see that the the average is still going red it's going red so whenever it's, uh, it's going red that means it's a downtrend whenever it's going green that means presently currently the trend is going up so based on that you have to wait for the uh, selected signal so we can see here we got uh, here is the one signal so we count it from here we count it from here from the trend reversals from here so that's our first win that's our second win uh, this was a loss this is against the trend we are not taking it we took this trade that's again a win this again against the trend we are not taking it and that's again uh, we are getting a uh, another trade with the trend that's a win this one as you can see here this was for 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 some time it was going up and we got our first buy signal with trend and we can take it it's a winner so you can uh, now since it's uh, now the present trend was strong up so we can uh, ignore the sell trade it's okay to miss some trades now the trend reverse again back to downtrend and we are again taking the sell trades so the expiries are uh, depending what broker you are trading so if your broker uh, um, uh, is allowing you to uh, choose any expiry between 1 minutes to 5 minutes or 15 minutes uh, it's up to you that what expiry you are feeling comfortable i recommend to trade uh, minimum 5 minutes uh, minimum 4 to 5 minutes um, why i'm saying 4 to 5 minutes because uh, it's not necessary to take the whole 5 minutes 
of expiry because sometimes we are waiting for the proper entry. Now let's say this is let's uh, assume this is the signal I'm getting. So I I'm expecting to enter my trade on this uh, resistance here. So I'll be taking a four minute trade instead of five minute trade. So uh, instead of five minute trade, I'll be taking a four minute trade because I'm waiting to take an entry on this uh, exact level. So I got a signal on this. Even if you take after signal, it's a winner. But I want to wait uh, to reach the level exactly here. I will be entering my trades for four minutes, and it's a winner. So, uh, but not every broker will uh, offer uh, the four minute expiry. Mostly, you will get the five minute expiry. So, if you can't uh, choose a lesser expiry, then you stick to a five minute expiry. But you have to make sure that the most of your trend, uh, most of your trade has to be in favor of major trend, and your daily trade. Number of your trades, number of your trade winning shouldn't cross the 10 limit of 10. If you if you try to make 20, 30 trades a day, that is over trading. Market will keep on changing. There will be news. There will be hidden news. There will be uh, speeches, policies. So you never know when and how the market will react. It's uh, so it's very important to restrict yourself. Uh, to unset number of trades, restrict yourself to a fixed time frame where you need to trade, and you just have to make sure you follow that routine every day. Nothing new you have to do. There's nothing new you have to do every day. The most, uh, the main reason of not being successful in trading is uh, uh, when keep on changing uh, your strategy, when you keep on changing your uh, uh, way of trading, just because you. It's not necessary that all uh, method will work uh, every day. There is a possibility that uh, maybe one day or two day didn't work, but that doesn't mean that your method is wrong. It's just for that particular day that market is working uh, is acting differently. Maybe it's not suiting your method. So do not change it. Just wait. Wait for uh, the market to become uh, supportive to your uh, uh, method, uh, which is why it is very important to trade. Uh, with trend so whenever we trade with trend it gives us a uh, 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 extra uh, 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 extra uh, you know uh, uh, average over a uh, normal uh, trading than reversal so it's always give you extra edge over the reversal trading because reversal tradings are always risky if you're not trading it on the ranging or a neutral market it's very important to uh, do reversal trading only in the ranging market and if you want to do reversal then do it on uh, with the trend even the reversal should be with the trend not against it so now this is uh, uh, the way what I said that how you can pick your pairs that you have to use the trend analyzer and you have to pick uh, either the top two or bottom two pairs and trade with the top two or bottom two pairs. Okay. Now one more thing which I wanted to explain is that uh, sometimes the signals will be different. The signals are 100% non-dependent, but sometimes you will see uh, the uh, signals are different because that is uh, based on your uh, broker, the MT4 which you are using. So, which I recommend that uh, go for uh, FBS real account or uh, Evertrade real account. Do not go for the demo accounts because um, the demo accounts uh, take rates are different and uh, sometimes it's uh, quickly get uh, deactivated. So, it's better to go for either FBS real account or Evertrade real account. So, uh, as we said that how we can pick our trade. Uh, the first thing which is important is finding the uh, correct pair, which is either the top two or the bottom two of trend analyzer. Now you have to trade in a favor of the currency, which is trending. So if it's uptrend, then you have to uh, wait for the signal in favor of the currency, which is strong, and then take your trades. Now if it's downtrend, then you have to wait for the signals to in favor of the strong uh, currency, and then you take your sell trades. Okay. So uh, that's about the trade. And there's nothing. I really want to make sure that there is no uh, difficult rules or multiple filters and this and that. No, that's a very basic rule. The entries are very basic. Take trades with the trend. Once you get the arrow, if the candle closes with the arrow, take trades on the next bar. It's good if you take your entry on the support or resistance level. And for the support and resistance level, I have already given here, here these all the lines, these gray uh, areas, these yellow, red, these are support and resistance lines. So it is good if you entry, take your entries in these levels. Uh, 
uh, which will give you uh, extra uh, chances of uh, your trade to be a winner. If you find the uh, market is too far from the resistance or support, I prefer to skip those kind of signals. If you see the signals are near the support and resistance, then take the trades on those areas for five minutes and uh, uh, you will find your uh, uh, winning chances a lot more. So you got to now you know how to pick your pair. Now you know how to uh, where to take trades. Now you know how uh, how to uh, know the uh, trend, which trend is going on. That's all. Nothing else is there. Now the major factor. Now the major part is having the planning, because if you want to win, then you have to have a planning. Now you have to have a planning. So for that, let's go uh, jump on our uh, uh, money management. So. Uh, as you can see, this was the previous uh, compounding planning, which I said, uh, which was the fixed uh, uh, percentage of daily uh, for monthly. Uh, you will be making a uh, same amount every day. So here we are starting hundred dollar and we are making a five dollar. That means a five percent every day fix. We are not changing it. We are only changing it after the from the second month so you are making a fixed daily percentage of profit of your initial amount every day so um, we are uh, taking average 20 trading days for a month so that's 12 a month and that's 240 days so now let's say uh, that's a small uh, 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 revision of uh, uh, the previous uh, compounding which is the fixed five dollar or five percent of your initial every day this one is the fixed target a new change so that now you can see that on january we if we started from hundred dollar we are taking five dollar every day you take five dollar you, you hit your target that's all you don't touch your platform you just end the day you don't open your platform you don't do anything because i know that sometimes you might feel okay i got my target so easily i should let's i should take few more trades and go no no you have to be very disciplined if it's five dollar then it's five dollar nothing more than that do it and stop nothing else you have to do it once you reach your 20 days target which is once which you this means that you're doubling your account every day making five percent that means you are uh, double your account every day so next month from hundred dollar we are starting two hundred dollar now we are making five percent of ten dollar so five percent of two hundred dollar is ten dollar now we are making ten dollar every day for next 20 days nothing else nothing more than that this way we will be keep on doing it until we reach our seventh month so once you reach your seven month, once you reach your six month or seven month, this is where you can say that you have came your halfway. This is where you have reached your halfway. Now here you can decide that whether you want to go till uh, the seventh month where you will be reaching your $12,800. You can make a withdrawal of 12,000 and then start with $800. Why I'm saying to withdraw 12,000 and start with $800. So whenever you withdraw 12,000 and you'll have $800, that means you're starting a minimum four months advance. So that means now 8, 16, 30, 64. So that means which previously the plan which took you seven months, now it will take you four months. So now to reach 12,800, it will take you four months because you're starting it instead of $100, now you're starting it from $800. So it will take you four months uh, to reach or it will take you uh, to reach $6,400 uh, in three months. So this is how you can plan. It's all depending on how much time you are able to put. So if you can think uh, to go uh, 12 months I will not recommend uh, because uh, we are not sure about the broker thing if they're going to pay us this much of amount or not or what not going to happen so I really don't want to go into that much of difficulty I think uh, this is the best do it six months in every six months do it two two session because once you reach this level once you're able to start from eight hundred dollar you are making nearly ten thousand, eleven thousand dollar every four months. Then you really don't have to think of going uh, to twelve months of plan. So this was the plan for uh, the fixed five percent compounding. This was the monthly compounding. Now uh, let's get back to on our second compounding. Now the second compounding, 
is uh, I made the second compounding where the percentage of daily is even less. Now here we are making instead of 5%, we are only making 2%. Uh, but there is a condition. For this kind of compounding planning, you need a minimum $500 account. So if you uh, have a uh, capital, if you have uh, this is the this is the compounding plan which normally uh, followed by most of, uh, of traders who have bigger account. So uh, people who have 10,000, 20,000 of account, they go for this kind of planning because the higher the capital, the lesser your daily target become. So now we are our targets. Let's say for example, we have a starting balance of thousand dollar. So here we will be starting uh, reducing our daily goal to 2%. Now this compounding is different. Here on the previous compounding where we are making 5% fix for one month. Here we are making 2% of your capital, your daily capital. That means that every day whatever amount you are making, next day you will be making 2% of it. So this compounding planning is different. As you can see, this is a template. We can see we, if we start with thousand uh, dollar, we need minimum seventy five percent of payout on our broker, and uh, to gain our two percent, we need five trades. And this is how your will be first trades are. So to make our uh, uh, first day, so now we can notice here. Here we are making two uh, percent of your daily capital. We started with thousand dollar. The first day target was twenty dollar. We made twenty dollar. That's thousand twenty. Now next day we are making two percent of thousand twenty. So this is the different plan. This is a different plan. What a benefit of this plan is here now your target is even lesser. Now you have to make two percent only instead of five percent. What is the benefits? Yeah, it will take some time. Now, as you can see, this uh, uh, green border, they are to show you the every 20 days. So let's say uh, we started from, uh, if you're starting it from next month, Feb. So uh, let's go to where we are reaching. If you start from $1,000, uh, fourth month, fifth month, that's our sixth month, that's our seventh month. So on seventh month, you are reaching $20,000. So this is another plan just by making 2%. Now let me show you one more thing, the fun part about it. On the twenth, on the seventh month where we're making $20,000, your daily requirement is $400. That means you have a $20,000 account and you only have to make $400. You only have to make $400. So that even in your five trades, you only have to make $400 with five trades. You have an account of $20,000. Again, you have the choice that in which part you want to stop. If you want to stop on fifth month, withdraw your $10,000 and start over. It's all your personal choice. But here what you're getting, this is this. But to follow this plan, you, uh, you have to have at least $500 account capital. Because here now you are reducing your target. Now just imagine that you have been trying to make 10%, 15%. Now ask yourself how long you have been making because if you are making 10-15% a day, I am I am I'm pretty much sure you wouldn't have been watching this video at the moment. If you are making 10-15% consist consistently every day for a longer period, so I don't think if you have you you are any of the viewer who is watching this video. And if you are not, if you are the one who think uh, that 10-15% is the requirement, but you know that you haven't made it. Maybe a day or two, but then what? It's all gone. You have blown your account. And that's only because of the over trading. So don't you think that it is better than doing nothing, making no money, than making $10,000, $20,000 in seven months? Instead of trying 15% every day and making nothing in seven months, if you can try 2% compounding daily, and make $20,000 in seven months. So I leaving that choice on you, that what you prefer. Why it is important to follow our planning. It's all, and again, why I'm saying the planning, why, and the planning is always depending on your need. What kind of goals you have, 
what kind of uh, why you are trading what is the reason behind of you being a trader so you have to choose your uh, plan accordingly if you think that uh, you want to make uh, you need to make some money quickly then i will ask you to go for that 5% fixed plan do it once for 6 month make $12000 then do the repetition from 4 uh, months onward if you think you can put some time if you think you have capital i'm not saying that uh, you need to if you have $10000 whatever even if you have $10000 i will say don't need to risk it you have to follow a certain goal if you have $10000 still follow this $1000 only risk $1000 If you have thousand dollar, then risk five hundred dollar. Make your plan on a half amount of your initial capital. Do not go for everything. Just because you have twenty thousand dollar account, that doesn't mean you will plan for twenty thousand dollar. No, not necessary. If you have a twenty thousand dollar, and if you think your need, you have to decide your need. That if you make twenty thousand dollar in seven months and that is sufficient for you then you, there is no need why you have to risk your twenty thousand dollar you can plan just risking thousand dollar and in thousand dollar now you have a thousand dollar you have to make twenty dollar a day now you have a thousand twenty you have to make nearly twenty dollar forty cents so that's how that's nearly twenty one dollar so you can imagine the first month the highest The highest target you are going for thirty dollar, twenty nine dollar, and that is for fifteen hundred dollar account, and which is very much possible, because if you follow the, if you combine the plan, if you combine this uh, uh, compounding plans with the BBM two point zero and follow the rules, you can hit your target every day very easily. You just have to stick to the rules, follow the money management, follow the rules, and you will hit your target. and for the traders who uh, just uh, don't have any knowledge or don't have the time to do the manual trading or not able to get uh, maybe they are busy on the peak hours and they not and they are looking for the auto trading we uh, want to announce that our uh, uh, multiple indicator combiner is ready now and uh, i'm going to make a separate videos uh, about the combiner to show the features of it uh, where you can add up to 10 indicators where you can add uh, the risk management that how many winnings how many losses you need and even i'm going to show that how we can use the combiner to hit this five trades or winning trades a day and there's nothing you have to do the combiner will automatically stop trading once you get a win on a certain pair so let's say uh, the combiner is built such way that if you apply the combiner on 10 pairs and you say that you need one net winning on each pair the combiner will make sure that once you reach once you make one winner it will not take any more trades on that pair and the same way the combiner will also will decide that if you set a certain uh, signal rules like you want to make sure that the trading will start only when there is consecutive five losses that means the signal the combiner will only start giving you signals when the indicator the compiled indicator whatever the indicator which you are using that compiled indicator when the indicator will give you the set amount of losses now it's on you that how many losses you want to set you say let's say you have set the five losses so the indicator will keep on scanning until your indicator and for the annual for the annual subscription the a uh, compiler will come with uh, five inbuilt indicators so if you don't have indicator you, uh, there's nothing to worry you will get a very high accurate five indicator inbuilt indicator with the set rules so it will start scanning signals and it will wait until the inbuilt indicator will have five losses in a row and when it will have five losses in a row the signals will start triggering from the sixth signal the compiler will give you signal from the sixth signal onwards so that will give you a benefit so what is the advantage of having such rule so having such rule that means if you have a indicator which gives you even 50% accuracy you can apply that you can use it if you have a, a indicator which gives you 50% and above uh, accuracy then you can apply that apply this rule and then still it can 
be profitable. But the combine with this rule, the add-ons, the inbuilt indicators which we'll be having inside uh, the com uh, combiner, they will be better than 50%, and they will be following uh, the given rules, and um, it will be, uh, uh, you know, uh, the combiner will be following a certain plan. So you have to apply a money management of plan that how many trades you required for the day. You can say that you need 5%, you can say you need 2% and then you let it run, it makes 2%, it's done for the day, no more trading. So that's the auto trading, combiner will be ready, it is ready, we have just last few fixing to done and uh, we're going to make a separate video introducing our combiner. The miner at the moment we are not uh, uh, able to provide lifetime license, so it will be on the rental basis. There will be two rental, one which will be monthly and the second will be annually. So we are already taking the pre-book, so anyone who will be making a pre-book for the annual will be getting a discount and uh, it will be coming. So the more details, it will be posted on our, uh, our Telegram group. So now get back to the main topic. So I hope I able to under, make you understand our second part of uh, this uh, power of compounding and why it is important uh, to have a plan because if you do not have a plan, then there's no way you can be successful. It's really no way. I know there are many uh, traders who are new who want to uh, trade on the tournament and uh, so even if you trade on tournament you need to have a plan. If you don't have a plan you never can win a tournament. So it's what no matter. Even you're practicing, even if you're learning, if you're doing practice on demo, if you do it without a plan it will be a waste. Why plan is important? Then when you do a plan, when you follow your daily trades as per the plan and when you successfully do it every day, it helps to control your emotions. Because once you need to give, you need to understand that we need our mind to give a certain amount of time to practice something. So when you say that how to control emotions while trading, it means that you have to give your mind a certain amount of practice for certain length of time so that your mind will get adapted to it and it will then follow the same pattern and only then your emotions will be controlled and how to do that is following a plan so when you follow something disciplined every day once you do it for one month two months now your mind is automatically adapted to that pattern so the emotion will be never coming in your way so that is very important. So this is the second part. Uh, previously was the fixed one. This is our daily compounding planning uh, for the 2%. And uh, I showed you that how we can uh, trade it using uh, the uh, 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 trading system. So as you can see, this was the signal when we started here, the conversation. This was the level and it gone for five minutes. That's the reason why it is important to trade with the trend and taking the entries on our level. So this was the signal, this was our level. You take a trade for five minutes, four minutes when the candle reach here and it's a winner. So that's how you have to decide your trades. Certain two hours a day and you will get your five uh, trades. Two hours is enough. Pick your pairs, pick your uh, trading amount, pick your plan and start trading. So stay tuned for our uh, separate video for combiner and that's all for uh, this uh, video. I hope you all have uh, the answers that how to trade with BBM 2.0, how to pick the pair, how to take the trades, where to take the trades and how to apply the money management. So if there's still any questions, I'll be available now. If anybody wish to uh, have a live demonstration to see the, uh, the system, they can connect on Zoom while I'll be active. So I'm here. So do drop me a message if you have any further queries and I hope you guys have uh, a great time ahead. Thank you. Bye-bye.